Hey guys, Karen from Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, a certified trichologist, and the owner of the Curl House Hair Restoration Collection. And today, we are going to talk about my favorite type of braids, and they are crochet braids. I'm not one that gets braids a lot. Um, I am one of those people who have a very tender head, and I'm just, I don't get braids a lot. And as a trichologist, I also see some of the damaging effects of braids uh, a lot of times. I see a lot that braids can lead to traction alopecia, which is a hair loss disorder that is caused by tension um, on your scalp a lot of times from tight hairstyles many, many times due to braids. So I'm not a, a big uh, wear of braids. I'm not opposed to them. I just don't wear them myself. But if you do wear them, make sure that you wear them in moderation and that you are wearing them safely. Now, when I do wear braids, I wear crochet braids. They are my favorite, and I'm going to tell you why. All right, here's Tanika. She's my BFF. All right, Tanika has crochet braids. You may not be able to tell. I recently went to an event with some young people, uh, let the young girls play in her hair, and they just had a field day with the crochet braids. But she has crochet braids, believe it or not. And crochet braids, the number one reason, or one of the reasons I like crochet braids is because the braid in and of itself is, is anchored to the scalp. So when you do crochet braids, your hair is cornrowed like this. As you can see, the hair is cornrowed and the hair, individual strands of hair is attached to the cornrow. So unlike other braids, braids like box braids or knotless braids or like a kinky twist or Senegalese twist that's in the braid family. When you attach the hair with those type of braids, the hair is attached, small pieces of hair is attached to your hair like this. And when it's done, there's just more tension on the hair follicle with individual braids like this. But again, with crochet braids, because the hair is cornrowed back, your natural hair is cornrowed back and hair is attached to the cornrow, it just doesn't put the same amount of weight uh, with crochet braids than it does with individual braids. So that's like the number one reason, or one of the number one reasons that I really, really like crochet braids. Because again, I just see so many people who are dealing with hair loss and traction alopecia from wearing different types of loose braided styles. But crochet braids is a little different. Now, you can definitely do cornrows too tight. So I'm not saying that crochet braids don't have its disadvantages, but generally speaking, if the cornrows are not too tight, then it's not going to compromise the hair follicle. Number two, the reason that I love crochet braids is because you can access your scalp. So again, if you look in Tanika's hair, all you have to do is pull this hair up and you can get to your scalp. And that is what we need, y'all. We need to clarify our scalp in braids. So just because we're in a convenient style or protective style or what I call a give me a break style, because really these styles just give you a break from doing your hair, then you still can't neglect scalp care. So you still need to cleanse your scalp. You still need to moisturize your hair. And it's easy to do it in crochet braids because all you have to do is pull that synthetic hair up, use your clarifying product to clarify or cleanse your scalp. Or if you're using a uh, leave-in conditioner, all you have to do is pull that synthetic hair up and you can spray the braid directly. You can still access your scalp. Because a lot of times what happens when you're in braids, we neglect the health of our hair. We don't moisturize it. We don't do anything. And when we take, our, take the braids out, we get a lot of breakage because our hair has dried out in the hairstyle. Crochet braids is so much easier. Now, you absolutely can spray moisturizer in your hair with loose hanging hair, or you can cleanse or clarify your scalp with loose hanging braids. But a lot of times what happens is that water might compromise the look of the braid. So, you know, with water, our hair might get a little frizzy. So if you spent $200 and four hours in a hair salon getting your hair braided, 
you're trying to keep those braids in as long as possible and you want them to look good as long as possible. So if you're spraying a lot of water or water-based product or leaving conditioner on your scalp, then you may not be able to wear your braids as long as you like because they just look like a frizz puff. But not with crochet braids because again, with crochet braids, even if your hair swells up, so even if your hair gets puffy, your natural hair gets puffy under the crochet braids, doesn't matter because you can't see it. So that's yet another reason why I really, really like crochet braids. And the third reason I like crochet braids is because they are so versatile. There are so many different ways you can rock crochet braids. So these are some pictures of some crochet braids that we've done in my uh, hair salon. So as you can see, you can rock crochet braids short, you can do them long, you can pull them up, you can do curly hair, kinky curly hair, you can even do gray hair if you want. So crochet braids are so incredibly versatile. That is another reason that I like them. And you can do them in a bun. My favorite crochet style now uh, is a crochet bun. I used to wear my hair in crochet braids where I would have all of my hair out in like a big curly look. Uh, that was many years ago. Now I want something simple and want something quick and I'll just slap it up in a bun. So that's an option too. Now also quick note for those who are dealing with hair loss or who have hair loss in the top of their head. Uh, I've had some people ask, well, what type of weave style can I do? Um, uh, beyond the wig, uh, what do you recommend? I would recommend the crochet braids because with crochet braids, again, you can, it's not as much, it's not as much tension on the scalp. That's for one. And if you're dealing with hair loss and particularly if it's stabilized and you want something to, to cover it up, you can actually put with crochet braids, particularly if you're going to a skilled stylist, you can put a net uh, with crochet braids, a net in that area and, and add the extension hair onto the net as opposed to directly to your scalp. So that puts less tension on the hair follicle that is compromised uh, due to the hair loss. So I recommend crochet braids. Remember, it's important to go to someone who's really mindful of scalp care and who will not do it uh, too tight. But I do recommend crochet braids for women who are dealing with hair loss or, or who, who are prone to hair loss in the top of their head. Okay, so I hope this tip will encourage you to get those crochet braids if you're looking for a protective style for this summer or if you're just looking for a different look, consider crochet braids. If you're someone who is looking to maximize hair growth through lifestyle practices, I encourage you to sign up for my wait list for my health and hair virtual program that is starting soon. You can sign up above. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And until we talk again, stay fabulous.